After the crossing of the Craters of the Moon National Monument and exploring ancient ice caves, a local fan gives the Walthalls coordinates to what he calls the Swiss Alps of Idaho. X Overland's solo series is presented by General Tire and the Grabber X3, the official tire of the Walthall family adventure. Available at TireRack.com and in association with Patriot Campers and PCOR Systems. So we still got smoke today. Not great for the allergies, but uh, we'll try to keep the AC on in the cab and hopefully that works. I do think we need a new cabin air filter though. It's, uh, it's still smelling quite a bit like dust in there and smoke. So I don't know if they make HEPA filters for trucks, but living inside one, probably need one at this point, especially for all the sensitive allergies. Time to do some laundry. We're out here in the Lost River Range in Idaho exploring some of the wild trails they've got. This one is supposed to be Idaho's Alps. So we're super excited to uh, go check it out, and air down and get out of here. Lost River Range stretches 75 miles from the Salmon River to the Snake River Valley. This mountain range contains the tallest peaks in Idaho, rising a vertical mile from the surrounding valleys. This primitive area is seldom explored, but attracts interest for hiking and mountaineering around Mount Bora, the highest peak of the entire state of Idaho. Even through the thick smoke, it is easy to see why the locals call this area the Swiss Alps. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. And we can't even see half of it. Yeah. The forecast was that this was supposed to clear up today, but so far it hasn't. At this point, they are feeling the drain from the relentless smoke. This year is one of the worst fire seasons on record, with tens of millions of acres burning across the western United States. They have lived in the smoke for about a week now, and it's starting to take its toll. Well, the smoke is thick, super thick. I wish we could stay longer. We're gonna head out to help our heads and our faces and our noses and our ears. 
start to feel better. Stella, what do you think? Should we stay in the smoke? No. What should we do? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. You want to go to clean air, Kai? Yeah, let's find some clean air. The longer you're on the road, the more you realize one of the fundamental elements of travel is change. And the best mentality is to focus on what is in your control. With just a little windshield time, your situation can change, sometimes unlocking opportunities you can't see on the map. And the Walthalls are doing just that, heading out to better ground. Custer City was once a thriving mining town at the heart of the mining rush in the 1800s. Now on the National Register of Historic Places, this ghost town has been restored with such detail you can still find an original poker table, complete with a bullet hole from a heated skirmish. Huh, it's cardboard. Huh, wallpaper. It's the toilet. While this canyon provided much opportunity for settlers and treasure hunters, it was also a harsh and unforgiving place with limited resources, natural hazards, and long, dark winters. So much history here. What is that? It's floating right now. Custer City is also home to the Yankee Fork Gold Dredge, which is one of the best preserved and accessible dredges in the lower 48. Powered by twin diesel engines, this 1,000-ton, 350-horsepower machine ran from 1940 to 1953, when it became unprofitable and was abandoned. There's a fire pit right there. Awesome! And a river! Hey! Perfect! I'll just turn it around, back it up. Brian is backing in to this tiny little spot. Oh my goodness. Here comes my best friend, our house, all our food, our water, and our kids. So we get to sleep on the dredge field where that dredge boat dug up. How cool. I love it. I love it. As soon as we got here, within two minutes of getting here, the kids were down in the river, just fully, fully in it. And I just, that just made my heart so happy. It has been a long day of exploring and driving and I'm excited to get some good food in our bellies. And I'm so thankful that the smoke lifted a bit. I can see out of my eyes. I don't want to gouge them out. If you ask me, it doesn't get much better than being able to camp in a part of history. Wow, what a view. Here's fish! This water is real cold, real cold there. There we go. Three, two, one. This is not looking good. I'm glad that we covered Montana and Wyoming when we did. And we got a little bit of Idaho, but now it's just toxic air. We gotta get out of here, this is not healthy. After banking some miles on their way to Oregon, they find a quick dispersed camp on the Garmin Overlander. 
While surveying their new camp, they realize they're in the middle of a huckleberry patch. Out here, these wild treats won't last long. They are one of the most sought after berries in the Northern Rocky Mountains. Ooh. Ooh. As I was doing dishes and putting away clean clothes that were left out to hang dry overnight, I'm noticing little flecks of ash on everything. So we are definitely, definitely in a smoky area, but we're not quite done with the trip yet. So Brian did some research and found that we can get a HEPA filter for the truck. So we're gonna go run to the closest town, a couple hours away, and go find one so that we can breathe some, some fresh air. It is noon right now, and I need to have my lights on. It is so dark. There's not clouds, it's just thick, thick smoke. The HEPA filter could not come sooner. We are coming for you. <laughs> it's the last thing we do. Brian heads to the auto parts store while Megan and the kids are stocking up on groceries. He has a new cabin air filter, waiting that should mitigate the effects of the smoke until they find cleaner air. All right, got the filter. I'm gonna go back to the gang. They're doing some grocery shopping. I'm gonna install the HEPA filter and then they're gonna be blessed with clean, fresh, particulate-free air up to 0.3 microns, that is. Here's the air filter in the tundra. The access is through the glove box. So, shut down the HVAC system. Pull out this tab. Nice and dusty. This was non-HEPA. Here's our HEPA upgrade. Slide this thing in. Done. Uh, clean air. Oh yeah. Washing her off. Hmm? How you feeling? I'm so excited. There are clouds. We've got a HEPA filter so our air is crystal clear inside the truck. We can see again. And we, we're going to go surprise our best friends from Maui. Welcome to Bend, population 91,000. What a sunset to greet us to. I think we finally got out of the smoke. Oh, this is so freeing, seeing clear air. You can actually see the blue sky. Wow, Ooh. let's see the mountains. Whew. I guess it was a good decision. The Walthalls finally make it out of the smoke as they near Bend, Oregon. They make a quick camp and are excited for the morning when they will meet up with old friends from Maui. Next time on the season finale of the great Walthall family adventure. <laughs>